Welcome to the project demonstration of dual axis uh, solar tracking system by using Arduino you know, Arduino Nano board and IoT uh, from Blink application. So here the main application of this project is we are going to control the direction of this solar panel in two directions. One is uh, when the sun is moving from east to west with the help of these two LEDs we are follow the sun with the help of this DC motor and uh, due to the like sun deviation in the uh, winter season so that sun deviated towards the south direction and that will be identified by these two LDRs and based on these two LDRs input or your nano board will control the DC motor for south deviation so this is a DC motor we are using to control the solar panel in uh, south deviation and east to west with the help of this DC motor so for this we are using the mainly four LDRs and two DC motors along with that through the IOT uh, from the blink application we can access the solar panel voltage along with solar wattage and at the same time we can control the two loads two leds from this same blink application <coughs> so this is the main uh, features of this project so for that we are using 12 volt uh, one amp rechargeable battery which is rechargeable from the solar panel as well as so when there is no sunlight is available we have provided this charging circuit to charge a battery so for that we need to connect the transformer output at this T slot and we need to provide the 230 volts AC input to this power cable and uh, then we can connect the battery at this B slot so the charging light has indicated the battery is charging and connect this B cable so we have written here B and we should connect over here so right now the battery is charging so it will take around 6 hours uh, for the battery is getting fully charged so till the duration we should keep the battery under charging after that automatically this charging circuit will block the current flow to the battery to protect the battery from overcharging so but uh, before demonstration we should keep this battery under full charge from this charger we have provided and then next coming to the interfacing connections we have interfaced these four LDRs at A0, A1, A2, A3 and A4 for the voltage sensors to monitor the solar panel voltage and the limit switches two limit switches for east to west rotation limits and the third limit switch for the uh, south deviation dc motor limits so these three interface h uh, five six seven pins and these two LDRs interface at pin number four and twelve and uh, esp i2 double six wi-fi module interface at the pin number two and three and L293 interface at the pin number 8, 9, 10, 11. So this one is the L293D motor driver to control the DC motor directions. So here you can see that clearly this one is a voltage sensor and L293D motor driver and ESP8266 Wi-Fi module Arduino uh, nano board and two LEDs will be controlled through the two transistor boards. And this one is the breadboard to distribute the 5 volts power supply which is coming out from this 7805 regulator which will take 12 volts DC input. And this is a battery pack and this is a recharging pin. So this is all about the components which we have interface in our project along with our DC motors here. And let us see the demonstration. As we discussed uh, we should uh, uh, keep the battery under full charge before demonstration. Then after uh, very next step is we should enable the hotspot in your phone because through your hotspot only the system will uh, communicate through the Bluetooth uh, sorry uh, Blink application. So for that uh, go to hotspot settings change the hotspot name to smart home without any space without any capital letter password should be 12345678 AP band should be 2.4 gigahertz right after enabling the hotspots enable the data then log into the blink application so there we can see the offline as the device is offline only it's not connected to the internet now so then you can on the system when we on this the solar panel will comes to this position and uh, the dc motor will uh, comes to this position uh, the south deviation dc motor now on the power supply and uh, yeah so let us uh, show you the tracking system right, so I'll show you Right, so when we on this, the system will connect to your mobile phone as a zero device connected, right, one device connected and it will come to the online. So the offline mux will go away and uh, the device will be right, it's an online now. So open that. Right, as we can see the whenever we place the sunlight lighting on the solar panel, 
can see the voltage increase decreasing from this uh, panel section okay and when we remove that the voltage will be comes down to zero so let us uh, see the tracking one and also we can control the bulbs from this one on on off off okay and coming to the uh, tracking system so you can see this tracking so as a east to west and this one is the deviation purpose so while we are demonstrating don't keep the lighting continuously just interval we can show this like this slowly you can place that right once it touches the ending limit switch then it will come back to the zero position continuously so while we are demonstrating this project if uh, this particular dc motor continuously rotates then and there only uh, of this power supply before it crosses the limit switch if is there any like high uh, power consumption then this 705 uh, may get heat up so this one is a main project application to monitor the uh, solar panel wattage and uh, automation using the blink application right.